my name is Bert and in this video we're going to be talking about custom backend expressions in Flowable and specifically the implementation of this using Spring Beans. So if you don't know what backend expressions are, I recommend you read this introduction on the documentation page we have on backend expressions. This will go over what they are and give a list of uh, already available backend expressions that you can use in Flowable. But today we're going to be talking about customization where you can create your own uh, backend expression. So let's go to Flowable Design and create a little use case for our custom backend expression. So let's say we have a user task and we want, want to assign that user task to a certain user. And let's say we uh, have a service in Java, a scheduling service, let's say, that will uh, give the user that's on call at this moment and we want to assign this user task to that user. So somehow we have to call the scheduling service from within our process. So let's get a service task and enter our um, custom backend expression. So let's say we have a schedule resolver. This will be the name of our bean. And let's say we have a method in that bean uh, called get assignee. All right, so let's uh, put this in a resulting variable, assignee. Let's go to the user task and um, use that variable here in the assignee field. All right, but let's also say that uh, we can only assign one user task to this user at a time. So let's throw an error from uh, this custom backend expression um, if that were to happen. Uh, so, and let's catch that error. So let's go to boundary events and get the error boundary event and put that on the service task. And we have to enter uh, an error code here. So let's say schedule error. Okay. And then we're gonna let the user that's starting this process know that there's been an error. So let's get a form. Um, right here. And let's get a text display. And let's say uh, the, the user is already busy with another task. Let's save this and this as well. All right, so let's go to IntelliJ. And as you can see, I have my global work application already set up here. If you want to set up your global work application like this, you can check out the how-to video we have on this topic on our YouTube channel. So I have also have my service package here with the scheduling service that I mentioned before. This has a get on call user, just a dummy uh, function that will return a hard coded user for the purposes of this uh, tutorial. So let's add another package called resolver. And this will contain everything we need um, to set up our custom backend expression. So we need two classes. We need the class for our spring bean and we need uh, the configuration class with the bean definition. So let's first add the class for our bean. Schedule resolver. And then let's add the configuration class. Let's call it uh, resolver config. And this will be annotated with configuration. So spring scans it for spring bean uh, definitions. And the definition will be annotated with at bean. And it will return a schedule resolver. Return a new schedule resolver. And the spring bean will be of uh, this name here. Let's go back to the class for our spring bean. If you remember from uh, design, it had a function uh, called get assignee, which will return a user ID, a string. Right, so let's add the logic for this. Let's auto wire our uh, scheduling service. Scheduling service here. And we can use that scheduling service to get the user ID with get on call user. And let's return that user ID. 
all right, so we were only gonna allow the user to have one uh, task assigned to them at a time. So let's implement that logic and the flowable Java API can help with this. So let's auto wire, let me get rid of the um, task service. And with the task service, we can get how many uh, tasks are already assigned to the user uh, with uh, a task query. So create a task query and let's search by task assignee with the user ID we got uh, from the scheduling service and we get the count of this, right? And this will be a long uh, amount of tasks. And then we can check if this is uh, larger than zero, then uh, we can throw a new BPMN error that can be caught by the boundary event we made earlier. We just have to enter the right error code. So this was schedule error, right? So if the user has um, more than zero tasks assigned to them, we'll throw the scheduling error and otherwise we'll return the user ID. So, right, so let's start our work application here. All right, as you can see, our uh, flowable work application is running. So let's go to uh, flowable work here and reload. And let's not forget to uh, publish our app. Right, so now we can start our process. And as you can see, uh, the task is assigned to Ben Snow, so our uh, expression has worked. So let's start another one and we should see the error. And we do, our, all right, cool. So let's go to IntelliJ and reca recap. So we need uh, a spring bean. Um, and here you can use your own services and the flowable uh, Java API to get the result you want. And then you also need a configuration class with a bean definition to create your bean. All right. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you want to learn more, you can go to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos. Uh, all right, thanks for watching.